G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. So we're about to uh, embark on a bit of a journey. We're uh, taking our uh, frags and corals and some uh, dry stock and we're uh, gonna chuck it all in the ute and go down to reef stock. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting, but it's a fair bit of tension in the air with uh, both of us rushing to get everything uh, done in time. So anyway, we'll go and see how Anya's doing with the corals. So this is all our coral. Uh, we've got frags, zoas, more zoas, Monty, Merulina, Cyphastria, uh, more Monty at the back there. It's hard to see through all the streaks. You should keep that clean on you. Sorry, I've made a mess. Uh, we've got encrusting SBS, uh, blastos, uh, some, some morphs, strip ellipse. Strip ellipse. Uh, what's that? A cool fluffy at the back there. Candy cane, a can, or packed. So, how are you bagging these? Um, as fast as I can. Um, whoa. Possibly less effort. Whoa, whoa, whoa! One coral per one frag per bag. Yeah, if it's hydnophora, most definitely. Um, <laughs> I have skimped a little bit with a handle just for as a trial, but I don't want to risk it. So wait a sec, how many frags have you got here? Um, maybe 350 or so. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. So you've got your makeshift oxygen, are you using that? Yeah, I'm using oxygen, um, just doing a wet session at the moment and I'll... What's, what's a wet over. session? What's a wet session? It's uh, tasks whereby all my hands, all my jobs require a wet hand job. You know, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't. Require a what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I can use a pen and things like that and oxygen once I have uh, my wet hand jobs done. Yep. For this session. So, all right, I've so. I've all the hide and flora now. I'm grouping the corals by genus. Genus? Uh, yeah. So, but, let's see let's see in the box. Unpack. So, these are all the hide no. What a. All right, and you are going to uh, tie them up at some point. Yeah, if you want to, I can show you the ones I've done so far to give you an example mm -hmm. over here. So, like, these are all the Goni Opera. So, they're individually bagged, um, and I just did one label yep. with a little bit of oxygen because we don't have enough space. And say, these are all the Purple Samakura. These are all the Acan $50 and over. Yep. Acan frags down here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here's what I need to know. How many boxes are we going to have to squeeze into the ute? Well, I'm trying to make it as minimal as possible, but I can't guarantee I've allowed for four. One, two, three. I've got three. Um, three for sure, but I don't know what those zoa magnets are going to take oh up volume Oh my god, so all right. I'm assuming at least one whole box for zoa magnets. Yep, you've got one box. Anyway. All right. Back to it. Back to it. I'm gonna go sleep. No, I need your help. I gotta snooze. Alright. So I'm getting the water together. Uh, we're being very careful to take water which is from the systems from which the corals are coming out of. So this is all the uh, what we call the SBS system. So we've got two, four, six, seven here. We've already taken some out of the pond. Excuse the mess. All right, so this is my nightmare. We've got uh, boxes of stock. This is a tank with egg crate on the top for the other tank. And uh, this is where I'm putting the drums, I'm trying to load them towards the front. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to fit them all in. And then worst of all, our pegboard for our stand. So somehow I've got to fit that, the shelving unit, and uh, a few other things in the back here. Should be able to fit the, uh, the corals in the cab behind us. Anyway, 
So far, I'm semi-optimistic. Back to it. So it's 20 past five. No, 20 to six even. We we plan to leave at five o'clock. Um, how's it going, Anya? How long have you been here bagging for so far? What time is it? 20 past five? No, 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 20 to six. It's, Sorry, it's almost dark I outside. I think, um, four hours? Three four hours? hours? What, you start at like one or two o'clock or something? I started at two. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But really, Coming up to four I, hours. I have been, like since 12, I've started getting things ready. Okay, and how's your bag quality going? Um, I have advanced to a new stage of, uh, Bagging. Time management bagging. Which is? Um, well, it's so embarrassing. I'm so mortified. This is how I'm doing it now. Oh my god. Yeah, look. And look, wait, my cardinal sin, two oh. frags in one bag. Unbelievable. You never do this. You never see you that. You never put two fish in one bag. You never put two corals in one bag. What am I doing? But I can't be here till tomorrow 8 a.m. doing this. We have to be at reef stop. All right, so what's left in the tank? 150 zole frags to go. Oh, yeah. All right, so what, that's 15 oh, and, minutes? Uh, 30 bird's nests. They are really tricky because they're so spiky. Uh, you can't be rough with the bagging. It's horrible. That's just a rock. We don't need to worry about that. <laughs> no, that's just all, a rock. this is all just weighing We're not it taking down. the couplings. So it's just the bird's nest and the zoas. Yeah. All right, keep at it. So I've been doing the uh, the Zoa Gardens. They are a nightmare. So I've been using these big uh, extra large bags. The problem is that the actual rack is not sitting straight. So if we go and have a look at some of the ones that we're still to do. This one, the little one. That's probably the last two of the big ones. And because they're uh, thicker at the back and crispy thin on the front, they're not sitting in the bags very well. So it's really making it challenging. Anyway, uh, we better get back to it. <laughs> so what are we gonna do differently next year? Uh, as soon as we get back from reef stock, we're gonna get ready for reef stock. Huh. <laughs> Even though we've got this stuff growing since December, mm. you know, yeah, I'm definitely investing in a pack rack stacking system so that there is, I'm never bagging 400 frags ever again. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, back to it. here like in between our legs well my yeah seriously <laughs> so anyway we have corals all over the place behind us in front of us underneath us um, and we're fully ready for this road trip it says there are, out of 920 kilometers there is 848 to go is that what that says yeah, yeah. we're in Sydney the GPS says we've got 27 kilometers to go and it's morning. We've got the morning traffic. 
but so far so good. How do you feel Cameron? Uh, I'm ready to unpack these corals. Pretty keen to have them in the tank. It's uh, probably been a bit of a rough trip for them really. If they were bagged a little bit better I'd be happier but uh, we did what we could do. We did our best. At least it's a nice day in Sydney and we'll uh, have these corals in the tank and hopefully in the next couple of hours. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, look at our corner. What's going on over here? Best corner of restock right here. It's already busy. It hasn't even opened up yet. After the bag laid on, it's like, oh my God, <laughs> so afraid. Have, hello. I'm in Restock 2018. We're very So we're here at our booth at Reefstock. We have three minutes to go until the doors open. Our neighbors are Coral Essentials and Fur and Fins. They have presented the most amazing stock here. Getting everything ready at the last second. Look at this swell frags. They are bringing it. These gonies are amazing. Over here, how could anyone miss the Salty Pets booth? It's a whole corner of absolutely stunning LPS. If you go down this way, oh my god, more acans, trachophilia, euphilia. We have Jerem from Batavia Coral Farm. Look at this mini maxi. Oh my God. I've already bought Zoas from Jerem before we opened. Plenty of coral here from Ocean Reefs. This way, even more coral. What is going on here? So many acro, Eastwood Aquarium. Oh, Sunny, so nice to meet you. Wow. If you're in Sydney, I do think Eastwood Aquarium is certainly a shop you should be checking out. This is the biggest aquarium ornament I've ever seen in my life. Um, what is that, six foot? <laughs> 
We could lie inside and have people popping out of that hole. That is amazing. Oh, wow, and some live food cultures here. There's a Cade Aquarium here. Look in the goods. And Aqua Blue Stand. Tim and Adam have done a sensational job here putting this together in one night. You know, yesterday we were here and you could see from one side of the room to the other. And slowly over the day, it just got bigger, fuller, better, brighter, much more amazing. And the masses are on their way. camera but the corals are not dry proof. It's okay, it's physics. It's all about physics. What was that? I said shut up. Oh, all right. It's not the first time I've heard that this weekend. Yeah, well you deserve it. <laughs> Your bagging skills are impeccable. I know, right? They're almost as good as onions. <laughs> not bad. We've got Ryan helping, Sam helping, Tom helping, Rory helping. <laughs> Fur and fins have already packed up. They're about to get on the plane. We're happy. Yes. Good work. Next time, get all sells all their corals. Hopefully. Hopefully. Shane Danger's here, helping out with boxes. <laughs> Empty tanks. Good work, guys. So we finally got our corals packed up. Everything's packed. We had so much help, we're so lucky. We were very lucky, lots of help. Thank you, Ryan, Sam, Rory, Rory. Danny. Michael Delzell. Michael Delzell, yep, yep. Harry <laughs> So Fur and Fins hide their uh, tanks which means that uh, they just get to leave them here. We're going to pack ours into the ute and take it back to Brisbane. Ready for next year, I guess. All the uh, dry stock, excess corals, things like that are in here. So that was reef stock. We're uh, on our way home from reef stock. We had a sensational weekend. As soon as we get back after our 11 hour drive, we're going to have to unpack all the corals, put them in the systems. Um, but we're excited. We're excited because the corals that she picked up are incredible and uh, really can't wait to show you. And so uh, not too long and we'll be there and we'll uh, show you what we bought. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, and keep on reefing.